WebAssembly, or WASM for short, is a newer web technology that's growing very rapidly that allows you to import compiled bytecode into your app via JavaScript and run it in the browser. This has massive implications for the future of web development and the overall experience that people will have on the internet. By the end of this video, you'll understand what WASM is and the potential it might have to change the web landscape. But before we dig in, please throw me a like and a subscribe if you haven't already so we can grow and reach more people. So it was announced in late 2017 that all major browsers would be shipping with WebAssembly support, meaning that pretty much anybody could take advantage of this growing technology right now. But what exactly is it? How does it work? And most importantly, how can you use it in your apps? Well, WebAssembly is designed to run along normal JavaScript client code and can be leveraged to unlock high performance functionality. It's extremely useful for high performance in browser capabilities such as video editing, image processing, data visualization, virtual reality, video games, and much more. Possibly even things we haven't even imagined yet. The easiest way to use WebAssembly is to import existing WASM modules. But of course, you're probably at some point gonna wanna be able to write your own WebAssembly code. There are several ways to create WebAssembly code. You can write code in languages such as C, C++, Rust, etc., and then compile it down into WebAssembly using tools such as mscripten or wasmpack. The compilation process will produce a .wasm file that you can import into your JavaScript code via the fetch API. Once loaded, you can now call this .wasm code as if it was just a normal JavaScript function. It's also important to note that since WebAssembly can be a compile target for those languages, all of those years of C, C++, etc. legacy code can now be leveraged in modern web browsers. So the power of WebAssembly is vast, the uses are novel, but one thing's for sure, it's gonna change the game. I'll leave a few links down below in case you wanna play with some WebAssembly online without setting things up for yourself. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do a WebAssembly tutorial and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it. And with that, I bid you all farewell. Have a great day.